Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to build a full stack application that is called a property management system. For developing this, we are going to use the full stack. So full stack means front end as well as the back end. So from the front end side, we are going to use this Angular 18 and as a back end, we are going to use a Spring Boot applications that is built on the Spring Boot latest version 3.3.4 with java 17 or upper means uh, other means uh, any upgrade version of this like 21 23 that version we are going to use so from the spring boot applications we are going to build those apis and those apis we are going to connect from the angular side so this uh, system actually like there is a obviously two types of user one is the admin another is the normal user so what admin can do admin can actually once if it is admin user then admin can do like kind of uh, they can add the property into the system they can update it they can edit it or they can delete it means I add update delete those kind of crowd operations kind of things they can admin can do regarding the property also they can generate some kind of the reports like uh, day to day basis or maybe monthly basis so some reports based on certain requirements they can also generate because ad admins can have the rights to get all the details about the properties and all like how many properties are sold or booked those kind of things they can also get means uh, in a view some kind of the dashboard user now if we talked about the user so the user can like do like once they logged into the system then user can like uh, based on the some criteria like location some uh, rent area means like uh, areas like which areas they need to purchase the property or book uh, rent to the property so based on this filter criteria it will display all the available property into the dashboard or into the particular page from there they can choose the property and book the property so this kind of feature we are going to do over here this will be a like uh, kind of very big one but uh, we are going to do in a in a in a in a small chunk of applications okay small chunk of tutorial so like let's create the project and uh, both actually like angular application as well as the spring boot application then gradually we are doing all the development so without further ado let's create the project and do the development now initially we are going to like build the UI that how the when the admin user basically logged in into the system then uh, how that they are able to add the properties and also they can generate the list of properties that which are available so for that uh, that is actually I have created one applications and that is property booking app over here in my last of tutorial that uh, I already covered that how we are going to do the login registration then create the sidebar how to apply the guards and create the insert interceptors so all those things actually I have added into this functionalities into this project now top of that like if you see that layout means it is a side layout then login then register all the feature I have added over here top of this one we are just going to add this property one like uh, adding the properties for that we need to create the UI and all those stuff over here so how we are going to generate means create those things so let us create one component over here that is called this add property so now I hope that you guys are already aware of that how we are going to create the component ng generate then component so we are going to create the components under these components and here we need to create this add property okay so once this will done then we are going to uh, like uh, we need to write all the like HTML pages over there okay if you see over here that add property is got now added over here okay so in HTML file we need to add over here so let us add so first of all we need to create one div 
with this uh, container CSS and this empty is the file okay then next uh, we need to create uh, another div that where basically we are going to defining that card like uh, for card header and all now we are going to card header so here we are going to generate this card header so this is the card header and here we are providing this one heading like create or update the property so here we are going to like uh, for the time being keep it as is okay now after that here actually we are going to create another div then after that we are going to generate the form so the card header card header ended over here after that after card header we are going to add another div okay so here basically we are going to create the form okay so after the form here basically we are going to create the form uh, like uh, create uh, the actually form details over here so here we are going to use the class that is uh, row and uh, because here from here it will generate all the rows and the this is the mb3 that css we are going to use for css basically we have used this bootstrap after that like we are going to use the headings and uh, the text file like that first of all that we need to give the property title okay this will be the property title next we are going to create one input field uh, that is uh, for this property title it will be a input where user can put the input input type is text then it will be a required field also you can provide this minimum length uh, will be 4 then class will be form control name is property title and this is the form object dot property title here is the new model we are using id and here we are uh, putting this placeholder that enter property title so now this div is closed similar kind of things we need to create for like uh, other one also like uh, the property type okay so property type we are going to create after this uh, like text box so for that uh, we need to use this column 1 and this will be the call md6 here we can put this uh, property type and uh, we are going to add this uh, the property type okay let it format so here you can see this level the select property type and then select property type id this is the ng model it again it's a required here it's a property type id and we are putting some kind of the default values over here these values also we can generate from the database but for the time being we are adding those values as a like uh, fix or uh, static over here next we are going to create uh, like uh, similar kind of thing like this are we are going to repeat like we are going to create the location okay we are going to create the location so again we need to create this div and then here we are going to add this label for location okay for location and then after that we are going to add the input for enter location let it format okay after that we need to add for the pin code so here we are going to add this level for adding the pin code over here 
and then next one is the like input box for this pin code one let me format it so here level is a pin code and uh, the text box will be text and this is the ng model form control it again it will be required this is the ng model this is the name of the form object that we have i will show you that it, it will be defined we need to define in the uh, like uh, in the ts file and here it's a placeholder enter pin code okay so pin code is done next we are going to add this city and state we are going to add city and state so let me add this two city and state So let us like see that how did how this one is look like. So let me add this one in the router file. Like once uh, we need to add some kind of uh, like in the layout basically we need to add one uh, in the layout we need to add this like booking list so similar kind of this we need to add this property okay so one this will be click then it will be redirect to this one so add this add layout add property we need to add in the routing okay so here we need to add this routing property over here we can copy this one and here it will be a add property okay the component will be add property component and it will be auth guard okay so let us save and let us start this one in this sub so once it will start then we will see that how this uh, uh, like uh, this html is look like this add property maybe according to that we need to do some kind of the modification over there it will take some time okay it's showing that error ng model okay so what we need to add so here basically we need to import all those things like uh, uh, the form module and all those things okay so let us add over here like this forms module then common module then reactive form module okay now see it is showing okay form object that object basically we need to defining over here that uh, what will be the form object so here first of all we need to create one property class over here so let me create another command prompt ng create class ng generate class property okay where we need to create this class under the models So under the models it will be create here okay so this class we need to add those like uh, details like uh, whatever the property currently it's having like this property IDs property title location pin code state all those things okay this we need to add over here and then also like uh, that uh, 
created date then maybe last updated this those kind of things we need to add so here we can create one constructor and uh, we need to initialize those field these are the fields okay so now we need to create this form actually inside of this TypeScript file here okay now yeah now if you see that build is done okay so now we have added this uh, property class as well as also like this add this one now if we like uh, open the portal then uh, we will see that all the things are loaded properly over here next we just need to add this one button over here uh, like uh, we just need to add one button okay okay so here how we have created the button button then button type will be the button and once it will be clicked then on save method will be called and whatever the things we need to write like uh, it will be called one api that is spring boot api that we are going to create into the spring boot application that api should be called from this on save button click and this save button will be this method should be available in the typescript file on ts file here i have, we have defined else we are get, getting some error over here so after that if we open the portal again so if we see that save button is appear over here once we click this one so currently it is not happening anything because we have not done any fun functionalities for this clicking functions over here right means on save is currently it is empty so that actually like uh, once we are clicking on this on save button then uh, we are going to save the property details into the database so that functionality is i am going to cover in my next tutorial so for the timing this is all actually like how we are going to create this ui and uh, in next tutorial what i'm going to cover so currently i have not also added some validations over here right so that means if we try to put some means we are not putting adding any values because these are the required field and still like if we are trying to click on the save button then it will give us that error or else the button will be disabled in case of we are not the if the form is not valid okay so those kind of things i'm going to add in my next tutorial and also once the user clicked on the save button then it will be communicated with the spring boot application and that data will be saved into the database so for the timing this is all about that this is just kind of the initial things that how we are going to create this form okay if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye